Backrooms Level 5 is a very famous level with its infinitely sprawling hotel hallways, its uncanny vibe, and its overall just fame. But what happens if you wander too deep into Level 5 of the Backrooms? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be going over two sub-levels of Level 5, and you're going to get to see firsthand why staying there for too long is not a good idea at all. Without further ado, let's get into the explanation, shall we? Level 5.3, or the Decaying Decadence, is the first sub-level that you're going to run into after being stuck in Level 5 for too long. Especially if you walk too deep inside of a hallway, you'll eventually come here. This level has been classified as a Class 4E Environmental Difficulty for it being unsafe, very, very unstable, but with a low entity count. However, that entity is a handful, and I'll tell you all about it later. The sublevel is an extremely elusive one, and almost nobody can find it on purpose. You can't just go run into level 5 until you run across it, like you only accidentally can come here. And the level looks like a large, dark, and cold abandoned mansion, full of holes and collapsing rooms and hallways that all seem to be surrounded in the void. These holes and these cracks lead directly to the void level, and if you were to jump through those cracks, you would quite literally be there inside of the black void. It's completely unknown how the sublevel got to be so destroyed, so crumbly, so desolate, or so abandoned, or how it's so unstable, or even just why it's falling apart. But, you know, knowing me, I'm going to get into some theories on that later, just don't worry. There is very little lighting inside these hallways and rooms, and the entire place is just this one old crumbled mess. The air here smells old and dry, and there's dust flying around constantly. The light sources aren't even connected to anything here, but they can still somehow turn on and off randomly, which is just like, <laughs> how? How do they do that? Then again, this is the back rooms, and it doesn't have to make sense. The halls and the rooms are also full of old furniture, things like beds and couches and tables and chairs and that sort of thing. And you might even run across a few floating pieces of furniture that are suspended in air, like somebody's using the force on them, they're just stuck. Now I'm sure this level's connection to the void has something to do with its crumbling and something to do with the floating chairs, but again, more on that later. While walking through these abandoned hallways inside this mansion, you'll begin to hear echoes of a disembodied voice. The source of this voice is unknown, and it's often not even actual words that are spoken. It's kind of just sounds or murmurings. Things like laughter or crying can be heard. Most of the times, the voices sound sad or even traumatized, and it seems like they're trying to speak English, although some people have claimed to hear Spanish and German too. Now there's another part of the level that is above the hallways and the rooms in this mansion part, and this part takes the appearance of a large attic. Now, the attic extends through the middle section of this mansion, and it can be accessed by one of those pull-down ladder things that come out of the ceiling. The attic is always freezing cold, and it is the source of the cold temperature for the entire level. It stays at around 14 degrees Fahrenheit, or negative 10 degrees Celsius if you don't speak American, and it should be avoided at all costs. I mean that in all honesty, do not, I repeat, do not go to the attic. Inside the attic, you'll find broken glass and boxes and just a tight, cramped environment. There's non-Euclidean geometry up here, so if you're trying to walk or crawl through it, you're eventually going to end up where you started, and you cannot just go straight in a linear path. The low temperatures and the broken glass are actually not the real reasons that you should avoid the attic, because lurking around in this attic is an entity known in the back rooms only as cold. Now, this cold entity is a humanoid-esque entity with purely white skin, very elongated limbs, and a triangular head that is shaped almost like Phineas's head from Phineas and Ferb. Cold can seemingly teleport inside this level, and it'll teleport near a wanderer only if the wanderer knows of its existence. So now that thousands of you know about cold, it'll, it can teleport to you. I'm sorry, I, I had to tell you. I, I couldn't keep it in any longer. Once cold captures its prey with its hands, it'll use its sharp triangle face to headbutt and to stab that prey in the face. 
and then after that, it'll drag the prey back to the attic to do whatever it does with it. Eat it, or I don't, I don't know. Cold is very smart, and it knows the level very well, so if you're going to get stuck in this level at all, you're going to need to find an exit ASAP to avoid being spiked by its cold's head. Now, other than cold, there are not really any entities in large numbers. You might see a hound or a smiler, but other than that, you're not going to see anything. Cold's background and story is virtually unknown, and only a few encounters with the entity have been reported, so tread lightly when walking on this level. There are no colonies here, since it would pretty much be impossible to form one, since the entire level is crumbling and there's a decaying vibe, plus cold wouldn't like that. To enter the level, it's literally just luck based. You can just randomly be walking around level 5 and you'll get sent here by accident, or you could just walk too deep into a hotel room inside the level and you'll be, you could be sent here. I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. Now to exit, you can walk in this level into one of those void pits where everything is cracking and you can go there, or you can do the actual good exit and find an old phone lying around in the rubble, touch it, and you'll be sent back to the regular level 5. And this is the most common and most safe and most reliable way to leave the level. So yeah, this level, level 5.3, is this crumbling mansion full of strange old artifacts, weird rips in the space-time continuum, openings to the void, and a strange entity that lives in the attic. Probably one of the best sub-levels I've read, to be honest. Leave a like if you enjoyed that one too. The next sub-level of number 5 is... <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> As if the last one wasn't interesting, though. This sub-level's name is EX-2, or EX-2. The Terror Look Hotel, and it seems on the surface to be a mirrored version of level 5, taking the appearance of an older, empty hotel. The level is very desolate, and is decently small, but still pretty sprawling. It's small on the scale of backrooms levels that are infinite and stuff. Its lights constantly flicker and turn off completely, and the entire area just seems like something you shouldn't see. This sublevel is non-Euclidean, and of course this makes it hard to navigate because of that, and this effect also means each hallway and each room will be different from the previous one you were in, which creates this jumble of complex that you have to keep walking through. EX2 is also strangely connected to the void, just like level 5.3 was, because if you're walking here in these empty halls, you might run across a fault or a crack, or a wall missing, or a door missing, or a window missing all of which are exposed directly to the void, which I think is quite strange that several different sublevels of level 5 are connected to the void. Coming from these void openings, you'll hear a soft static buzzing sound, as well as some of the furniture here in this level makes that soft buzzing sound. You really don't know why. But it's thought that touching that furniture could send you into the same void as well. Now, EX2 has several empty stairwells that lead down or up to different parts, of itself. It's really hard to tell because of the geometry here, but exploring deep into this level is very, very, very frowned upon because it's just so expansive with the geometry. Like, there's no way to map it out, there's no way to tell where you're at, you just gotta keep walking, and that's not very safe. Except I could probably do it myself. I'm brutally. A soft song plays over the entire expanse of EX2, and it's a classic type of song with soft instrumentals, and it gives this really uncanny feeling while you're walking around. Very deep into these halls, you might stumble into a lobby type area that, is, that seems to be cramped and small. These areas are said to be the safest part of EX2, and that is pretty much it. These lobbies are very contained. Many of them don't have any outside lighting or doors. They're kind of like interior dark lobbies. But other than the hallways, the lobbies, the stairwells, and the weird geometry, that's, that's EX2. It's just like a stranger, uncanny version of the main level with weirder effects. It's tied to the void, and it seems more dangerous. To enter this EX2 level, you just have to walk far enough into level 5 until you realize that it doesn't look like level 5. It's the uncanny valley effect almost. To exit, you gotta walk around until you get sent out. That's pretty much it. There's no real way to exit, you just have to walk and walk and walk until you find some way out. That's all I can tell you. Good luck!
that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. I love sub levels so much, dude. These are fantastic. I, it just really adds so much lore to the back rooms without it being too much. It expands it, it fleshes it out. I love it. Leave a like if you love sub levels too. Also, while you're done leaving a like, check out the merch below if you want to help out the Brewster or if you want a late Christmas present or something like that. Also, check out my second and third channel if you want more of me for some reason. I hope you're having a great December so far and are ready for Brugmas because there's a ton coming your way. Thank you so much. Love and appreciate y'all, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.